What's good, YouTube? Welcome back to the amount of obviously, boy Ari. Right, thank you for tuning into another video. Well, I ain't gonna lie, when a bunch of bitches come on, I almost slapped the crap out of y'all. But anyway, hope you guys are having a wonderful evening. I'm um, here with another reaction video today. I'm re re reacting to Flight This Night. I can't pronounce this word because that's not an English word. Disney Genius? I don't know if it's an English word. I really don't know. I don't know. We find it right now, but yeah, it's like um, official lyrics and meaning. So we're gonna see what's up with it. Um, but before we get into the video, hit smash the like button, hit subscribe, and yeah, let's get on the road on the road to one k subscribers, huh? A lot of people nowadays they'll be just so eager and so hungry to get and accomplish their goals that they'll damn near just like ask favors from every and each in person and not realize what they doing. I don't give no handouts. I didn't have a handout, especially coming up in the YouTube game. People are just not gonna give it to you. So if nobody gave it to me, like why would I just give you a handout and give you a shortcut and give you a cheat code? Oh man, bro, flight, that's fucked up. Nah, man, bro. See, is, 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 well, to each his own. Let's start with that. If you think like that, bro, we could be back in the same predicament and, and these white people, no offense to the white people out there, but like the racist white people, I don't care what you feel like, but the racist white people, they can always control us. So if you can't bring, if you make your money, right, and you can't bring, say, somebody else up, that, what's the point? You know what I mean? It's the whole point of making generational wealth. People feel like generation is only your generation. Why you can't help somebody else? If you can support somebody else, if you can help somebody else, you know what I mean? It, it, hey, hey, it's the world is funny. You might be out today, but down tomorrow. And that same person you give this camera to and set, help him set up his YouTube account to do reaction videos to flight, that's the same dude who can stop from kicking down your front door and blowing your head open. I'm just saying, it's a possibility. That same guy. I'm not wishing that. Don't get me wrong. You know what I mean? It's just reality. If you if you see a dude probably a couple of days ago, hey, bro, come off the street, man. Come off the street. Let me show you how to get this Gucci bag or this Gucci shoes. I can show you how to do it legally. you would be like, all right, cool. He see, oh, is that easy? He said, yeah, man. Then he started making more money. But now he see you walk on the street. I like flight shoes. I like flight Gucci bag. Run that nigga. Follow you. Do all type of crazy shit, bro. You can't think like that. But hey, my opinion. Going from trying to find everybody you want to react to and making sure you're on top of everything to, you know, people hitting you up like, when are you about to drop? It's definitely like humbling and exciting and, and just like, I'm just like lost for words because, you know, you don't expect the tables, you know, to turn like that when you just do, especially with me doing YouTube for so long since 2014. Damn near wake up one day and it just happens. It's just like a dream. Man, this girl's disingenuous. Disingenuous. Can't lie, she's a genius. And so when I went to the studio that actual same night and laid down like the first rough draft and everything, and I was really going with the hook, I'm like confident that's exactly how you say the word disingenuous, just like that. Because before I even go on, I'm. See? I told y'all, that don't even sound like an English word. Disingenuous. What are you trying to say though? Just like, yo, this is a new vote. Are you trying to say dangerous? Shirts. No. This is how you say it. I sounded it out perfectly. And then I actually woke up the next morning. I just felt like going on Google and I looked up the word disingenuous. And you know how you can, um, it, it shows like the voice thing where you can pronounce the word. I looked at that and I'm just like, oh my gosh, I said this like completely wrong. But this, is, this sounds too good and catchy and fire that I just can't go back and change. I just even feel like if I was to even say the word ironically correctly, it wouldn't have even hit. Pull up, let's get high, fuck Mars, we on Venus. It ain't even like a diss on Mars. It's basically like, don't be trying to get high with this specific person or dude, you know what I'm saying? Because y'all just don't be on Mars. You're going to be on this certain level. If you smoke with me, you're going to be all the way up here, like in Venus. So that's what I was basically trying to describe. I don't have no beef with no planets, you know what I'm saying? None of that smoke. <laughs> I just like the way her lips moving, sucking down my penis. Got you off, keep it, beat it. Uh, yes, I have a reason. So disingenuous shit gets me heated. You can't trick, so you must get treated. I had like a crush at a certain point, and we was just about to go into a relationship, but things weren't really working out the way they were supposed to. I just got to a point where I just got heated, and I was just, I just pretty much cut her off. But then she was also trying to like, you know, threaten me, like, can I give this stuff back to you? And if I give somebody a gift or anything, you know, I want them to keep it, you know? So I- That's some real man, that's some, I, I won't cuss. 
That's some real man stuff right there. Only little sissies. I don't say people. Little sissies be like, oh, keep me my stuff. If I buy you, man, listen, if I buy you a car, keep it. What the hell are they like, taking back your, taking it back from you? You know what I mean? Well, the fact that I could afford to buy you a car, I mean, I have the money to give you it. So I'm just saying. You know, but like something petty like some shoes or or, or, or a shirt I bought you or I lend you. Oh, you can keep it? Nah, you keep it, boo. Ask any of my exes if I ever come back to them and say, oh, give me this I bought for you. Give me that I bought for you. Nah. I feel like when you cut somebody off, they'll try and use this something as an excuse so they can get in contact with you. Like, oh, you left like your, your shirt or your jacket or this. Do you want it back? You know, you can just keep it. You know what I'm saying? I cut you off. Don't get in contact with me. Keep everything that I ever gifted to you. You know what I'm saying? And beat it. Just like, you know, just get out of my life type stuff. Good. You the type of nigga that's gonna beg for a chick. I'm the type of nigga make a beg for the tip. So I was just pretty much saying to like any dude that just acts, you know, simpish in a type of way. I feel like dudes like... Nowadays, like ignore certain signs and different just toxic things and traits in girls and stuff. Some dudes be so thirsty, you know, just want to have a girl or get something out of a girl, this and that. I'm not a simp type of dude. I'm a type of dude to stay focused. Call me when you want, nigga. Is you smoking dick? Caught her up on live twerking on a jet. Boy, was I sick. And when quarantine pretty much happened, celebrities, artists, or, or anybody, they was just like hosting like twerk contests and stuff. And one time, like I was literally just chilling. Then I went onto my IG and like all of my fans was just like sending me like a screenshot of, like of my old crush that, you know, was literally like twerking on somebody else's live. And you know, it made me sick. Like it, not, not literally sick, but just made me sick, like sad type of sick. The word uh, jit, it's like a Florida term. It's just like a word you just call somebody that's just like younger than you or just as a no shit. Oh my gosh, ho, you so nasty. How you so ratchet, but same time classy. Please don't leave me, girl, I might go and cry. Nah, psych, I won't even pay mine. I was basically being like sarcastic in that type of, in that tone. And I pretty much kind of wanted like to mock the dudes that like try and beg for a girl or or even like mock the like, you know, sometimes the females that just think that a dude's life is over just because they leave or because they break up with them. And I was just basically like, oh, I'm gonna go cry. Don't, please don't leave me. Like I'm gonna act like I'm gonna beg for you. And then like, I just put it on pause and be like psych. You know what I'm saying? Like, no, nah, you know, I'm just not gonna cry. I'm not gonna go out sad over a girl any type of time. Fucked up on my face with them baby ass racks. Been about a check, so I had to bounce back. Hairy ass bitch like my fucking ass crack. There was like a couple of girls I actually came in concert with during the quarantine since it started. I didn't expect them to be like furry down there. They was like actually hairy and shit like that. And like, you know, it was actually a beautiful woman. So it's just like, I'm looking at it, it's like, damn, you're hairy. And then I just use, you know, the ass crack line because you know, it, you know, it obviously rhymes and I just felt like it was gonna be funny and all that. And yeah, that's my- So you trying to say something wrong with some hair, some heel on some pussy? Flight, he's a jet. Jam. Any real man, nope. So hold on, I wanna know how this play out. The girl come by him. She pull on her pants. He pull on his pants. He ready to do what he gotta do. He look at the girl and say, man, you get here, I gotta go. You gotta go. That's what you did, my guy? Nah, that's immature, bro. Like, really? If you can say you don't want, you know what I mean? Like, no fellatio, I understand that, you know what I mean? Cool, I, I respect that. But you tell me you don't hit it, you don't do nothing, you, you tell a girl leave? I'm tell DJ running back, it. so what I took your boss, fuck you gon' do back. Been about my money, so you know I'm getting racks. When I basically dropped the song Heat Check back in November, around there, but before Thanksgiving, Everybody was just like constantly on my head like, oh, this sounds similar to somebody else. It sounds similar to somebody else. So I was just pretty much mocking people like, look, like, so what if I took someone's bars? If I did or didn't, you know what I'm saying? What are they going to do back? Green up in my gas, eyes low off the pack. Talk to how I look at your bitch like my cum rad. My favorite strain, I like Runts and I also like uh, Z Skittles cake. That's like one of my tops. So that's what I was pretty much referring to, like just the, you know, the pack that was, you know, getting me high and the eyes was just low. I'ma come through, step my plate, call it a day. I had aspirations of balling ever since I was eight. I was trying to be an NBA, you know, baller, go to the NBA, had straight aspirations. My favorite player at that time was Allen Iverson and he still is, it's all time favorite. So it's just like, I was just, just dreaming of being the NBA 
and just nobody was gonna tell me anything different. Why would I give a reaction to Petty Hey, Let them hate. Wanna see me react? Sub to my YouTube Fly React. I've been wanting to do YouTube since like 10th grade. I just didn't have the money for the equipment until I got like a little, you know, nine to five job at that time. So I had, you know, just did what I had to do on YouTube. I started right on 2014, right when the PS4 came out. I was doing like NBA Live and 2K. I was like known for, mostly for NBA Live at first. And then I started like kind of transforming. So once I got to like 100K, that's when I made my flight react channel. The flight react channel didn't start till like 2015. Like I made that channel because I had moved out for the first time and I wanted like, you know, a little extra money to help, you know, pay bills just in case or whatever. So I ended up just doing a flight react channel and it just ended up blowing up in five months, hitting a million in five months. Why every banger I drop a new nigga act like they need me? Quit calling my phone, stupid hoe, you hella needy. Every banger I drop or every like banger situation, like a good, really good thing that happens in my life, it's just like all of a sudden like a new person just like needs me for something or needs a favor or, you know, acts like they want to be a part of my life. And it's just like, it's weird because it just feels like every time I, I feel like leveling up, it's like another person needs me. Y'all worried about Brett 11s? I've been getting this bread since 11. Now she give up the melons first night. Who knows her body count? Ain't no telling. I never sold drugs, never stealing, never doing any of that stuff. Was trying to always like do it the right way. So at the age of 11, I started like selling like candy bars in school. And even if it was a little, been getting this money since 11. And then the Brett 11s uh, line that came from because like hype beasts like to, you know, try and fight or kill other people for shoes every time something new is about to release. People everywhere on Twitter, Instagram, you would just see, how do I get these bread left to you know those breads were sold out like seconds everybody was just like constantly what's going on with the bread 11s they're not worried about the 2020 goals they're not worried about anything priority wise they just worried about some shoes and that's why i was just chilling i was just like man y'all sitting up there worried about some kicks y'all sitting up there worried about some bread 11s well i've been sitting here getting this money since 11. better watch your bitch got her on my phone texting while she leave you on deliver we be late night sexting yeah like my woman black asian or mexican and i'm good anywhere i go so ain't no checking in anywhere i go state country or anywhere like i don't have to check in with nobody i don't need to say oh i'm about to pull up can you make sure like you can have me safe and this and that it was just pretty much uh, clarifying, you know, that I'm just comfortable anywhere I go and comfortable in my own skin. Break that bitch back, better motherfucking watch out. Shove it in the mouth, give a fuck what you talking about. Got it on my own, I ain't never asked for help. So don't ask me for advice, little nigga, fuck that hand out. When I started YouTube, like I say like the first two, three years, like I didn't have like no collabs with anybody. I was just always brought up and raised to not ask anybody and do for yourself. And you know, just, it'll be more rewarding when you just accomplish it by yourself. I've had people since I was in elementary school like be like, you look like, you know what I'm saying, a rapper, this and that. And they will always give me hints like that, but I, I was actually more drawn into the YouTube side. Okay. Well, that's cool. Eh, it's a cool little thing with Genesis. Yeah. Wait. Genesis. Wait. Genius. Ah. <laughs> oh, okay. Um... Yeah. Okay. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Smash the like button. Subscribe. Turn on post notification. You know, if you guys enjoyed the video, just let me know. Anything else you want me to do? Post it in the comment. You heard me. But love you guys. Remember, baby, the world is yours. Peace.